Really great people that I have known in my life have been those people that have been willing to go beyond their comfort zone. The people that have lived a mediocre life that I have known in my life, well, they're people that insist on staying within their comfort zone at all cost. Well, just as a boat is not meant to stay in the harbor, you're not meant to always stay in your perceived comfort zone. You are a person that is meant to go further and go beyond. I often teach the story of young eagles in the nest, and they're very comfortable in the nest. But the mama eagle does something to get them beyond their comfort zone. If the young eagle would have its way, it would stay in the nest forever. Well, the young mother comes back to the babies in the nest and slowly removes the cotton and the soft, cushy material. Now, the nest is built up of thorny branches that are like steel that are woven into a shape of protection. But as she removes the cushy fibers protecting the young, some of the young are right on thorns, and their comfort zone has become a hellish environment. And it becomes so bad that they often wish that they could have a life outside of their perceived comfort zone. So they are offered the mama's wing. She comes over and she lays her wing out next to the nest and they look out of the nest, out of the hole of the nest, and they say, there's no way, Mama. No way. We're not going to leave our comfort zone. This is all that we know, all that we ever hope to know, even though the thorns are pushing right into the young and causing severe pain. And so she folds up her wing after they refuse, goes away, but daily she comes back, daily she offers with the outfolded wing. She says, come up, come and find a new life. Come and fly with me. And they hold on tight and they say, no way, Mama. There is no way that I'm leaving my comfort zone. And so they refuse. And it is every day that Mama comes back and removes more of the soft cushion fiber and exposes more thorns. And finally, one day, one brave young baby eagle says, well, I'm just going to go up there for a minute because, see, Mama is now placing the food not in their mouths but on the outfolded wing. And the young eagle conspires in his mind. He says, I'm going to go up there, grab the food as fast as I can, and then scurry back as quick as possible to get back into my comfort zone. And that's what happens. But as he comes back into per his perceived comfort zone, the thorns, as they reinsert themselves, hurt twice as much as they did before. And so this thorny environment has become a hell on earth for the young eagles. And then one day, when one of the young eagles gets up on the wing and the other brother or sister follows up on the wing to get the food fast and then scurry back to the comfort zone, Mama takes off. And they hold on for dear life and they're screaming and in agony and she goes up and up and up and then drops the wing. And then roly poly they're falling to the earth and then Mama safely comes back under every eagle and breaks their fall and then takes them back to their comfort zone. Well, daily they do this. Daily they go through the agony of the change and then finally there is a point where one small eagle, probably by accident, spreads its wings and flies. And the young eagles learn that there is a life outside of the thorny environment that they have thought that could be their only existence.
Now, my friend, what would happen if they had made the decision to stay in their perceived comfort zone that was not comfortable any longer? Their bodies would grow. Pretty soon it would be intolerable. Pretty soon the pain would be so great or predators would come and eventually get the young eagles. An eagle is meant to fly. Many times we are meant to go beyond our perceived comfort zones. And many times we're to go beyond with the help of God. And God is constantly there for you. If you will pray to find comfort, outside of your comfort zone. You'll find it. You'll find the way. You'll find the means. And you'll become a better human being because you were brave enough because you wanted to go the extra mile in life. Here's what Eleanor Roosevelt said. You gain strength she said, courage and confidence by every experience in which you really stop to look fear into the face. And you're able to say to yourself, I have lived through this horror and I can take the next thing that comes along. She said, you must do the things you think you can't do. And in Psalms 27 verse 1, the Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? Well, if we've spent too much time playing it safe, if we're uncomfortably stuck in our comfort zone, if we'd like to change the quality of our life, the direction of our life, but we're not sure how, well, it is time to go to God. Instead of fighting change, maybe it is time with God's help to embrace it. The next time that you face a decision that involves a major modification in your own experiences or circumstances, look to God and God will give you the courage to step outside of your comfort zone.